on bench points, 40 to 25. Here is Jacques Vaughn on the loss. Jacques, can you just start with the free throw and you know what you wanted to see? I mean, Kevin missed got the rebound. Yeah, we put Dayron in the game, put another big in the game to put some more pressure on the rim. Got to bounce our way a little bit. Royce came up with it, and uh, be interested to see. Katie was a little bit behind him. I don't know if he could have turned and, and passed it to him, but the effort our guys gave, gave tonight was. Uh, uh, should be commended. When you look at coming off of Charlotte, another game where you're down double digits with under three minutes, what did you like about that push and what was working for you guys? The poise. You know, they went zone on us a little bit, uh, made us kind of recalibrate a little bit, and we did. And we settled down. We got some good looks. We executed at the end of the game, uh, put ourselves again in a position to win. That's been where you guys, I think you were up 78, 74. You were dry. Yeah. That, was that just... I guess adjusting to what they were doing defensively. Yeah, definitely. So I'll give them credit for going zone. That that kind of slowed us down a little bit. Then we figured it out, um, and then we got good looks. You know, the looks that we did get uh, from the guys who shot the basketball, we'll take it. Chuck, what is it about Luca that makes him? So difficult to guard. Just high IQ. Uh, you know, he sees the game. Uh, it's, he plays at his pace. Uh, he's able to pass the basketball as well as shoot it. And uh, to be able to manipulate the game the way he does, uh, pretty impressive. What do you think about Ben coming back? Yeah, great to see him out on the floor. Put him out there with a group that could play fast, hopefully some shooters around him. Um, at that stretch, we didn't make a lot of shots, um, but uh, overall, I thought seeing him back on the floor, played with speed, played with pace, which is good. What's the word on Utah? Yeah, sprained uh, ankle, and uh, we'll further take a look at him, but he was smiling afterwards, so he... Did, did he didn't get an MRI or anything here, did he? No, he has not. Coach, how would you sum up the road trip? Uh, it was good. Uh, you know, Oh, sum it up. Uh, I think at the end of the day, our guys, what I told them in the locker room is we didn't win the game, which was, you know, the ultimate goal of the game, but we played the right way. And it's really that simple. Uh, I think we played with space. We played with a lot of pace uh, through this road trip. We shared the basketball. Uh, we grew to understand each other, where we want the ball, how we play together. So that part of it was the trust factor. Uh, then overall, I think our group came together. Do you have any expectation that Utah, A, would you to get an MRI when you get back? I'm not sure, Brian. I did not uh, uh, ask the medical team before I came over. We, we huddled pretty quickly, but um, seems he seemed to be okay in the huddle. And I know TJ was going to get assessed or what have you at some point in November. Do you have any further idea on him? Uh, I don't. He's still been doing his um, kind of progression. Um, and so we'll we'll see when we get back to Brooklyn if that uh, no setback. So that's that part's been good. For some of the guys that have been kind of working their way back, and there's a number of them that have <laughs> had these off-season yeah. uh, surgeries. Um, we've seen Edmund kind of get closer back to his his former self. How encouraging is what you've seen from Joe of late? Yeah, really, really encouraging because it, Joe went from um, you know building up his minutes. Uh, didn't play the back-to-back -to, -back to playing more minutes and then building up to playing the back-to-back. -back. So uh, that pro progression has been great for him. And uh, for him to play with uh, the thrust and the shot making, you see how, how important he is to our team. And then I guess on the flip side is when you're dealing with both Seth and Ben, is this just going to be a process that it may take both of those guys a while to work through? Without a doubt. I think in the team huddle before, every time I'm like, uh, okay, this time we're adding Seth back in the mix. We got Joe in back-to-backs. Now we're adding Ben in another game, so the rotation is going to change. Um, just be part of the team, and, and we'll continue to, to get healthy. All right. Thanks, JB. All right. Thanks, guys. In losing to the Mavericks, despite holding them under the century mark, the Nets were defeated in a game in which they gave up fewer than 100 points for the first time since late December of 2019. Our stat of the night tells us that their streak of 30 straight victories in games when giving up less than 100 points has come to an end. But getting back to Coach Vaughn Frank, and uh, yes, the Nets were in position to win right up until the finish. It could have absolutely gone either way. And he talked about trust factor. Yeah. We are seeing that. 
I also think tonight for him, he was obviously encouraged the three games, the fact that they played hard, they moved the ball, mm -hmm. sharing the ball. I thought it was big tonight. Joe Harris, who, you know, has been, you know, he's had some moments where he's really struggled, but tonight he goes six for 10, 14 points. He was a team high in terms of plus minus, a plus 13. He also hit that big three late. That made it 91-88 Dallas, so he cut the lead to three. I'm sorry, yeah, cut it to three, which gave them a chance right there. So I thought Joe Harris had some really good moments. That's encouraging because, again, there were times tonight, you know, you can't rely on think, well, Cam Thomas is going to come off the bench and going to knock down shots left and right. At some point, you need guys like Joe Harris, uh, Seth Curry, who's still struggling to get back, even Patty Mills. Seth Curry 0 for 1 tonight on threes. Patty Mills 0 for 1. They're going to need a little bit more from those guys. Yeah, you know, while they wait on Seth Curry to find his leg, it's good to see Joe actually getting there. Absolutely. And I think I think what was important for Joe Harris, when it's not working from three, I thought he did a really good job getting to the basket. You know, get involved in the game. They're running you off the three-point line, finish at the rim. I think he did a good job attacking. Then when they needed it late in the game, he knocked down that corner three, which was big. Okay, break time again here on the post-game show. When we return, we'll take you inside the locker.